So I'm going to be showing you guys in this video how you can install Windows 10 on a PC. So I'm going to be installing this on this old PC I have that is 8 years old. And then I'm going to be showing you guys this script that makes Windows lighter and speeds up the system a lot. Which is very useful because, w I mean that computer right now is running Windows 7. And I want to have Windows 10 to have the latest Windows and to get better performance and stuff. So, I'll show you guys how to set this up. It's not that hard. I know you guys, all of you guys could do it. So, you go to this website that will be in the description. And you're going to click right here, download the tool. Click on that. And to set this up, I'm using a Windows 10 computer. My computer that I use every day. So, it's done downloading. So, just open up the file location wherever you downloaded it to. Here's mine. And this is going to install the latest version of, um... Windows 10 for us, the one that was re re released in May. So it just goes through this thing where it says getting a few things ready. And yeah, so this will apply to any PC, but in my situation, it's an old computer. But if you have a new computer and somehow you broke Windows 10 and it's not working, you can use this tutorial to install it on your computer. And you just don't have to run that script that I'll be showing at the end. So you'll get this thing where it wants you to accept. You can read through it and click accept. And it does another thing for a few minutes where it says getting a few things ready. Okay, so this step is really important. It's going to come up with this thing and it's going to say upgrade this PC now. Don't do that. I mean, you can if you want to upgrade the PC you're running right now, but I don't want to. I want to create an installation media USB flash drive. So I click on that and I go next. And then untick that and make sure you want Windows 10 and choose your language and then the architecture. So my computer that I'm going to be installing is 64-bit. So if you don't know what it is, look at the operating system it's running right now and choose the correct one. That This is really important or it won't work. So this is correct for me, so I go next. And I want to make a USB flash drive. So this will install it on a USB drive. I forgot to mention that you do need a USB drive. So plug it into your computer now click next and my one that I'm going to be installing it is called Rasp Firm. it's because it had a Raspberry Pi operating system before that's why it's called that so I'll just click next and now it's going to start downloading Windows 10 for us and then it's going to flash it to that drive so this does take a while so you just have to be patient on this step Okay, so after a long waiting, it took about 20 minutes for me, it says my USB flash drive is ready. So when you get to this screen, that means you're good. Click finish. And it just does this quick cleanup. It cleans up the files that it doesn't need, and it's already done. So now take, up, take out that um, USB drive and plug it into your computer, and I'll show you what to do next. So when you go to your computer you're going to want to go into your BIOS and if you don't know what key opens up your BIOS in your computer just google the brand name and type what is the BIOS key and something definitely will come up and when you get into this part you're gonna go over to the boot menu so you might all BIOSes can look different but you definitely will have a place here that says boot device priority and you click on that and you're gonna go down and you're going to make your USB device 1. So I already made mine. And it's a card reader. That's what it's called. So to make it over here, there's a key. And it says to go up is F5, F6. So if I press F5, it makes it down. And F6, it goes up. So after you put your USB device at the top, you're going to click Escape. You're going to go Save Changes and Reset. And you're going to click Yes. And now this is going to save all the changes we made and it's going to boot from our USB device now. So now we just need to wait. If it's an old PC like mine, it might look like, stretch like this. And this is just because it's not scaled right or whatever. But when you get into desktop, it will look right. 
and this can take a few minutes so just wait here so after it goes through that windows part you'll get to the windows setup here and I want English United States and I want these are all right for me if you have a different language you can always change that next and click install now this actually is just starting up the setup to install Windows 10 now like I said if you're doing this on a new computer everything should be quicker this is like a seven year old computer so that's why it's stretched and it looks old and it's going slow and you get to this place um, so here I would recommend just I don't have a product key and if you do have a product key you can just activate it later from the when you're in the desktop because that's a lot easier so just say I don't have a product key and I'm gonna show how to install Windows 10 Pro because with Pro you get all the features and home you can get everything and Pro is just better so I would I'm gonna go with Windows 10 Pro yeah and here you need to accept the license terms so just hit accept next and I want to custom install Windows only this is the one that you want to do if you're installing it on a new computer so hit that one and you're gonna have these partitions and what I already had Windows 7 running on here so I need to format this so that nothing is on there you don't have to format it if your drive doesn't have anything yet so I click the drive that is 297 gigabytes and I'm gonna click next and it's already starting so it copies all the Windows files and it gets everything that you need ready and it doesn't take that long for the setup so just be patient and wait for this to be done okay so after it's done with the installing part it goes to this screen and it says like starting services and stuff and if you're on a HDD like me not a SSD this can take a while so you have to be patient here and after this you go to the setup process where you just set up with your account your language all of that stuff and yeah so after that you'll be in the desktop so you have to be patient here that's the only thing okay so after that long time I got to the setup and it's just like a normal window setup and I want United States and you just set it up like I mean it's really simple you guys can do it so just complete the setup and then you'll be in the desktop soon okay so I just did that setup normally and I got to the desktop with no problem so you guys shouldn't have any problem doing it either I haven't done anything to this this is just fresh out of the thing it is activated but you don't have to use Windows 10 activated but I use it activated oh, and so right here so it's lagging a little bit but I'm gonna show you how you can make that better so if you do this on a new PC you don't have to do this script this is just if you're doing it on an old PC and you want better performance it this is a cool thing that you can do so Chris Titus tech is an amazing YouTube channel Definitely check out his channel and subscribe if you haven't already. He does cool operating system videos and tutorials and stuff. And this is his website and he has this code where you can, um, it takes stuff out of Windows to make it faster. So you just go to his website, which will be in the description, click this button here, copy, and go to the search bar, search for a PowerShell, and go run as administrator. It has to be administrator. Click yes. And it's going to turn on for us. And it turned on, so right click and paste. And it's going to start downloading this file that will do a lot of awesome stuff for us. Okay, so it opens up this app here that's called Windows 10 Deep Loader. And so what you can do is if you know a lot about this Windows stuff and you're really confident in yourself, you can go to the customize blacklist. It's taking a minute to launch on mine. And you can 
change all of these stuff and click what you want to remove and what you don't want to remove and you can do all of this yourself but if you don't know much about this stuff and you just want it to run faster he has a button that he thinks is the best so you click on this remove all bloatware and it's going to start removing tons of stuff that we don't need so i'm just going to go with that but if you guys feel confident in yourselves you can click on you can customize it and then use this button to remove all of that stuff so I'm going to click on remove all bloatware and as you see in PowerShell it's starting to remove all of this stuff so this can take a few minutes so I'm going to just pause it and come back when it's done okay so now for me it says finish all tasks so some other stuff that will speed up your windows go disable Cortana and it's going to disable Cortana which will make the performance better because Cortana uses a lot of um, power and stuff so don't and I would recommend stop edge PDF takeover that is also a good thing. Another thing, OneDrive is a program that's on Windows. If you don't use it, definitely uninstall it. It uses so much CPU and stuff that you do not need if you don't use it. So just delete it. I mean, seriously, uninstall it. So on OneDrive takes a few minutes because it's a heavy program. So now it says OneDrive has successfully been uninstalled, and that's good. So you can enable dark mode if you want. I like this white, and it doesn't seem to do a huge difference for me. But if you think it does, you can enable it, and you can do you can do all of these different tasks and stuff. This is all I'm gonna do. But if you guys want to, of course, you can do more. So that's enough. So. Another thing that will definitely speed up your windows is this. Clet press your Windows key in R and type SYSDM.CPL. That will be in the description to copy if you need it. Click OK. And go over to Advanced, Performance, Settings, Adjust for Best Performance. Click that. Click OK. And this, so it makes the font different, and when you move it, it does that little box thing so it's not eating up your CPU and when you click on the Windows thing it comes straight up it doesn't have that effect which works a lot better on this if you're running it on an old PC but if you like I said if you're doing it on a new one you don't need to do any of these things like so if I open up file explorer it opens up nice and quick I can move it around and it does that box thing instead of moving the whole thing for better performance and I can install any app I want on here. And yeah, so it's pretty cool how you can get it running on an old PC. Even you could install this on an old Dell Optilex or whatever. Or whatever you want to install it on. Even you could try it on a 10, 12 year old PC. And see how it runs. And you can tell me down below in the comments how it was. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about these. Please tell me down below in the comments. And if you like this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe.